Hello and welcome friends. So in continuation with the molecular biology series of lectures, we continue with yet another important topic that is DNA damage, types of DNA damage and the consequences of DNA damage. So let's proceed. DNA damage. DNA stores, maintains and passes down genetic information to future generations, we know that. Even though replication occurs with high fidelity, defects do occur during copying despite the proofreading activity of the DNA polymerase. Replication errors are 1 per billion base pairs per replication. So the replication errors are very few. Mismatching of base pair occurs in detectable numbers. Accumulation of these errors results in mutations. So let us look at the common causes of DNA damage. DNA damages are of two types. One, endogenous DNA damage. Endogenous DNA damage is caused by replication errors. There are around one base pair in 10 raised, there, these are around one base pair in 10 raised to the power 10 per cell cycle. The errors may be caused by topoisomerase enzyme while removing the supercoils and they may also be caused by reactive oxygen species such as hydrogen peroxide, hydroxy radical and superoxide radical. The second kind of DNA damage is known as exogenous DNA damage. And these damages are caused by ionizing radiations, which include the ultraviolet radiations, which cause dimers to form between base pairs. And they are also caused by X-ray and gamma rays, which cause DNA strand breaks. Now, apart from the ionizing radiation, it's the chemicals also cause exogenous DNA damage. These include insecticides, pesticides, pollutants, oxidizing agents, alkylating agents, food adulterants, preservatives, aromatic amines, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, carcinogens, and even anti-cancer drugs. So these are some of the common causes of DNA damage. Now what is DNA damage? Let us look at them. So DNA damage is first type single base alteration. Second type is two base alteration, the third type is chain breaks and the fourth type is cross linkages. So there are four types of DNA damages. This is the classification. Now let us look at each kind. So single base alterations include alterations due to deamination, depurination, base alkali alkalization, insertion or deletion of nucleotides, incorporation of base analogs. Now the two base alterations include thymine-thymine dimer formation which is induced by the UV light. The chain breaks are caused by free radical formation due to oxidative stress. They are also caused by ionizing radiations. The cross linkages are formed between bases in the same or opposite strands and they may also be formed between DNA and the proteins, example, the histone proteins. So these are the four types of DNA damages, single base alteration, two base alteration, chain breaks, cross linkages. Now, what are the single base alterations? So the single base alterations include deamination, depuration, base alkylation, insertion or deletion of nucleotides, incorporation of base analogs. So this is the first kind that is deamination. Now deamination is as you can see here this is cytosine, this is the amine group here and due to ultraviolet rays this amine group is removed from here and this cytosine is converted to uracil. The second kind of deamination is conversion of adenine to hypoxanthine. Once again, amine group from here is removed from adenine and oxy group is replaced and so it becomes hypoxanthine. Now these deamination reactions can be spontaneous. 
so around 1 into 10 raised to the power 7 per day such deaminations are seen in cytosine every day so deamination of cytosine is very common the second cause of deamination is chemical induced and it is generally induced by food preservatives now the second uh, kind of single base alteration is depuration now you can see that this is the DNA strand and this is, these are the purines and upon hydrolysis there is depurination. So because of this depurination there is a apurinic site over here that means the purine from here is removed. The adenine is removed from here and so there is a empty space where there is no purine so it is known as the apicite or apurinic site. This depurination is caused due to spontaneous hydrolysis of N-glycosidic bond which connects base to the deoxyribose. So this is the deoxyribose to which the base is attached and this is the glycosidic bond. This bond has broken and so the ribose is separated from the purine and it introduces an AP site or apurinic site so there are around 1 into 10 raised to the power purines that are lost each day due to this depurination single base alteration reaction acidic conditions promote this depurination and these reactions are insignificant in the RNA now we'll take the next type that is the base alkylation and it is induced by ultraviolet rays and they induce pyrimidine dimers. The bifunctional alkylating agent may also cause cross linkage. So this is the guanine nucleotide and this guanine nucleotide is converted to O6 methyl guanine nucleotide where there is a alkylating agent that adds a methyl group over here. So due to the addition of methyl group guanine is converted to O6 methyl guanine and because of this the actually guanine is pairing with cytosine we know that but after this conversion due to base alkylation or methylation now the methyl guanine is pairing with thiamine so this is wrong base pairing that is occurring and this results in mutation if this is uncorrected so the agents for base alkylation include dimethyl sulfate that is dms and nitrogen mustard now we come to the two base alteration in two base alteration there are thymine thymine dimers induced by UV light. So let us see. So this is the thymine and now you can see that these thymine thymines have dimerized over here uh, at the methyl group position and that thymine thymine dimer is formed. This occurs in the presence of UV light and now the third kind is the chain breaks. The chain breaks is caused by reactive oxygen species such as hydrogen peroxide, hydroxy radical and superoxide radicals and the cause of this they cause oxidation of deoxyribose, purine or pyrimidine bases and they even cause strand breaks. The second reason for chain breaks is the ionizing radiations that is ultraviolet radiations, x-rays and gamma rays. They cause single strand break and a, a basic site that is 8 oxoguanine is introduced and they may also cause double stranded breaks so there are intra strand cross linkages as you can see that there is cross linkage in the inter strand so between two strands there is a cross linkage so these are the two types of chain breaks that may occur this is the fourth type of DNA damage uh, which is known as cross linkage and in cross linkage 
it can occur between bases of the same DNA strand, between bases of opposite DNA strands, between DNA and protein molecules, example the histone proteins. So this is the diagram which is showing intrastrand crosslink that is between bases of the same DNA strand, between bases of opposite DNA strands and between DNA and protein. These are all cross linkages. Now we come to the consequences of DNA damage. So the failure to repair a DNA errors or damage results in mutation. As they accumulate, it causes mutations. And these mutations uh, are more defined when they are passed from one generation to the next generation of cells. And thus there is a strong correlation between accumulation of mutations and development of cancers. So these are the various causes that lead to lead a normal cell to become a defective cell. These mutations accumulate and then they are passed. These, this defect is transmitted to next generation and may lead to cancer. So let us look at the uh, DNA damaging source as a quick summary. So this is the DNA, double-stranded DNA. You can see that these are the various uh, agents that can cause DNA damage. The oxygen radicals or the reactive oxygen species and alkylating agents cause single stranded break and there may be uh, introduction of uracil because of a wrong base insertion. The ultraviolet rays cause thymine thymine dimer formation and this leads to bulky adducts. Radiation energy can cause double stranded breaks whereas replication errors can cause base pair mismatching like thymine pairing with guanine where it should have been paired with adenine. So or there can be insertions and deletions. So this is a quick summary of DNA damaging source and the type of damage. Thank you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.